If you want to sculpt really high level detail, stuff like pores, wrinkles or fur, then this tutorial is for you. There are three main ways to add detail while sculpting. There's Dyn Topo, which dynamically adds geometry as you sculpt. There's Remesh, which rebuilds your mesh with even density. And the Multi-Res modifier, which lets you subdivide cleanly and sculpt at multiple levels of detail. Dyn Topo and Remesh are great for concepting or mid-detail work, but at a certain point the high polygon count will start to slow down your scene. On my computer that happens around a million polygons. Multi-Res is built to handle much more detail. My computer can push it to around 150 million polygons, that's 150 times the detail. But there's a catch. The multi-res modifier can only hit those kinds of polygons counts if you have clean quad-based topology. That means your mesh needs to be retopologized first. Here's a sculpt that hasn't been retopologized yet. If we turn on wireframe you can see the geometry is very messy. If we add a multi-res modifier to this, Blender drags to a crawl. Sculpting on this really isn't an option. On the other hand, here we have a mesh that has been retopologized. If we add a multi-res modifier to this mesh, you can see we can crank it up to several levels with no issue. And sculpting it is still buttery smooth. The bottom line is, if you want ultra high res detail, you need to take the time to re-topo first. Then bring in a multi-res modifier and go wild. Don't try and slap a multi-res on messy geometry. Not only will it likely crash Blender, it may crash your entire computer. For anybody that's interested in learning more about retopology, there's some additional tutorials in the description.